Yeah, so here we are at Miami Homestead Speedway. Uh, this track was reconfigured in 2004. It was very, very flat. It was almost like a, a square a couple of years ago. And then they, they took and added banking on both ends, um, put in progressive banking. So when you get up by the wall, it's four, five, six degrees more banking than there is down low. And what'll happen when you're on new tires, you can really drive in hard. You know, you can get down to the bottom, uh, get on the throttle hard, and your car has the grip to go. But once the, the tires start to wear out, they get hot, you'll see a lot of guys going up by the wall and, uh, and cruising up there. So this is a, a great track. Um, you know, it's a real sweeping corner, so you've got a lot of corner to, to make things happen if your car is handling good, uh, fast enough to where, uh, you know, it's got some pretty high speeds. But we'll run the top groove through here, and you'll, you'll come in here, you'll be off the throttle uh, in the race, and, and you'll use every inch of the racetrack you can. Uh, you see some of the scrapes and dents in the wall where people have gotten a little too close. But you'll, uh, you'll be back in the throttle, full throttle, before you get to the start or before the, uh, the straightaway. A, a track like Homestead where everyone moves around, there's not one ideal groove, you've got to be able to, to move around and be, be transparent throughout the day. Uh, this race is going to start in the afternoon, the sun's going to be out, the sun always sets going into turn one and uh, you've got to manage that sun. Uh, it's going to be annoying for a little while, but then the race is going to end under the lights. And so the, the track's going to change, your race car is going to change. Uh, you've got to be able to pass on the bottom, but run the top side on old tires. And so, you know, this is one of those tracks where I think um, you got to work really hard and try to predict what's going to happen uh, throughout the race. The track's going to rubber up. Uh, but can't say enough about this place. It's, uh, it's definitely one of the, the, the more fun tracks to go to. Uh, a lot of guys would, would probably say the same thing. And you can see this racetrack, when they repaid this thing, it was jet black, real dark. And now it, it looks like Atlanta. You know, it's faded. The uh, asphalt's real coarse. Yeah, so coming in for a pit stop, we'll be planning it going down the back straightaway. You know, drive into turn three kind of kind of looking over at pit road already we're here in the middle of turns three and four we're still going at full speed and about right in here you can start seeing the entrance of pit road you got to slow down and we have markers three two one and we're you know third gear second gear and at the yellow line you have to be at pit road speed uh, which is probably 45 50 miles an hour this weekend and then you've got all your pit boxes here, you find one, you know, you whip in. Sometimes they're tough to see. Sometimes uh, you, you get almost past before you can see your pit box and you're late coming in. Hopefully you're not there very long. Hit the gas and get going.